Hi everyone, my name is Amber. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another reaction video for Female Fronted Friday. We're going to be doing Epica Blank Infinity. The retrospect from 10th anniversary. Um, so this is a great concert. I've seen another song from this concert before. Um, so apparently Simone, the lead singer of the band, is, I believe, three months pregnant. Oh, wow. And they have a full orchestra and a choir. Nice. I'm not sure if they're going to be all, I'm pretty sure they're going to be using this song too, but the other song I heard they were definitely used in. So, hopefully, we'll find out how good this is. And you said you've heard of Epica before. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you played me a couple things, I just don't remember. I'm that. sure I've played this song for you in the past, but it was a while ago. But it's been at least a year since I've heard anything, so... So this will be like fresh ears. Pretty fresh ears to me, so... Okay, so... You excited? I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I'm just looking forward to hearing this. So, let's get into it. And on keys, Mr. Kuhn Yeltsin! Give it up for Kuhn! Hi, 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 hi! We went most of the song without pausing, but what do you think? She has a really nice voice. It's definitely a little bit lower. Yeah, I do feel it's a little low in the mix. Um, yeah, I was a little, I'm a little disappointed in this version so far, to be honest with you guys. Um, I feel like, I don't know where it is in the show, but I just don't feel like she's doing, giving it her all on this one. But I do like, apparently there's a lot of chemistry between her and the keyboards. I wonder... I mean, it seems a little more than just fellow bandmates. Yeah. The fact that she was singing, like, right to him for... Yeah, she was. ...a good minute or two. 
Yeah, and I do like that she has a little bit of an operatic tone in her voice. It's not too over the top. It fits with the song. But yeah, I'll have to hear, like, well, the off album. camera, I'll show you the uh, main studio album version. And then you could at least tell me what you think. Um, or maybe we'll pause after this, pause the video, start it back up, and tell me what you think. Yeah, we could do that. I maybe, mean, no, we'll just end it and you'll let me know what you think, and we can let you guys know in the next video. I mean, whatever you want to do. I mean, that okay. works for well, me. Let's continue. you think? I mean, for what, for the live version, I thought, I mean, it's still really good. Yeah. I mean... At the end, I felt like it got better. Right at the end there, especially, like, her voice seemed to come up more, and she didn't seem as breathy. Like, in the beginning, she seemed like she was almost out of breath, like... Yeah, it seemed like certain parts, she was a little bit on the breathy side, um... So I would say, yeah, she definitely, probably, this wasn't her best performance, but I would say for what it is, it was really good, and I really like their chemistry. Yeah, I really like the band as a whole. Like, this is one of my favorite yeah. songs by them, um, which makes me a little disappointed in this version of the song. Um, but another one, either it's either earlier or later in this set, I don't know which where the next the other song is. But she's much better in that one. Like she's like on the ball. I'm like you'll be impressed when we get to that one. Yeah, but I can tell she still has a really nice voice in it. She does, and it fits really well um, with this song. And I will pers I think I'll give this an eight. I'm gonna have to give it a seven and three quarter. Just performance. The song as a whole, I like a lot more. I'll put it up at an eight and a half to a nine. Um, but it's just this performance just did not do it for me. And she also seemed a little more into everybody else and not the crowd. Yes, but you have to remember not all artists necessarily interact with the crowd. They yeah, kind of get in their own. But yeah, I get what you're saying. And I know she is a more shy person. She was, when I went on the, the 70,000 Tons cruise, um... She was, her band, Epico, was on there for the year before. And everyone was saying that it was there the year before, that she was really shy. She pretty much hid her in her cabin the whole time. But, and that might probably play into it a little bit, but I just feel like she didn't care about the crowd as much. Maybe I'm just so used to, like, Floor and how much she just loves the crowd. She, like, feeds off the crowd. But remember, they're different artists. They so are. I but, um, but I'll say, yeah, she could have been a little more interactive. But I was more basing on the song. I was yeah, kind of I, I was kind of giving it more. I, I was going to give it a 7.5, but I gave it an 8. Just I gave it that little half because I I know I've heard her before. And I can't remember which song it was. And she was better. And so I know she can do better than what she did. And I do know that, like, this song isn't her. This wasn't her be their best performance, but... So. Okay, well, that's it for Female Friends of Friday. Um, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and let us know what's what you think. Um, tomorrow will be Nightwish, so see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.